What's going on guys? I just want to touch up on a few things with you here regarding the rental arbitrage business model. Uh, I know a lot of these videos that you've probably been seeing lately have been uh, rather alarming and they're sort of focused on the negative. So to open up today's video, I'm going to share with you a few comments that I've received and I think these are, <laughs> these are rather interesting. Someone saying, and now COVID-19 finished your Airbnb business in just one step. Hilarious, I would say that it is, you know, it's a, uh, it's humorous, but not necessarily true and not entirely true. Um, and, then, and then someone else said, let's see how you make money now. Uh, these are two very interesting points. And it's funny that people think this way. Uh, just because something bad happens in life and something bad happens in business doesn't necessarily mean that it's the end and that it's over. Um, and, and I've mentioned that I've been adapting to all of this change. And in my last two videos, I did focus on a lot of the negativity, a lot of the bad things that have been happening in the space, but I also mentioned what I'm doing to adapt. And the key here is adapt or dissolve. I mean, there's, there's no way to progress in life and progress in business if you're not adjusting and if you're not being very versatile in how you operate. And this teaches me a lot um, about business and about my character and about how I can operate under pressure. And what I want to share with you today is a booking that I received. Actually, we're, we have been getting bookings uh, to fill up those bookings that have been canceled. Obviously, this is not just me. This is the entire hospitality industry that is going through this. And um, you can see here that hotels plan on firing or they plan on laying off more than 15 million people. Uh, this is just the hospitality industry in general. I saw this thing from Business Week, from Bloomberg Business Week, that they plan on firing or, I mean, laying off or putting in furlough more than 15 million jobs. This is crazy, and I definitely think this opens up a lot of opportunity for people like us. Anyone who wants to start this, this is a chance, and like this is a chance of a lifetime to enter this once everything calms down and cools off with the coronavirus, um, you know, with what we're dealing with in our lives right now once this all blows over we'll be able to get in here and truly take over that market share as hosts as airbnb hosts and the reason being is our overhead is so much lower the cost for operating is so much lower than the hotels and i personally don't have any employees i have to fire or I have to lay off obviously i'm working with my cleaning crew here very closely and they're doing all right i mean we're, we're still getting bookings i'm adapting i've told you what i'm doing and if you haven't checked that out, those videos out, you go make sure to check out um, those two videos. I'll leave, I'll, leave them, I'll leave them up here in the card. In the most dire time as hosting, we have a booking like this, and this is literally adapting and switching uh, just to operate under pressure. So the entire month of April is taken care of, which is something that I was worried about. This property is not off the list of the units that I have to work with, right? This whole property is taken care of. We got somebody in there. And the great thing for the cleaning team is that every single week, this individual is requesting a service like a turnover um, since it's a more of a long-term stay so every single week I can guarantee my cleaner a job and that's great you know my the cleaners are happy with that we already discussed it we're gonna be charging him of the $65 cleaning fee that we charge per occurrence like per turnover and I think this is gonna be something that you know keeps the cleaners um, you know we're staying tight obviously a lot of the jobs that I would you know provide my cleaners in, in these upcoming weeks got canceled but stuff like this is really positive and it keeps me motivated it keeps me going this is a really great booking to have especially in these times while hotels are laying off millions of people and they're shutting down they're shutting up shop because of that I think everyone should be focusing on revenue management and I wish everyone the best uh, to answer those two questions you know someone said now you know I'm taking out in one step not necessarily like I said I'm adapting I'm changing the way I'm operating I've, you know really focusing on this to make sure that I survive this because I know once uh, everything is over with like once everything that has been happening blows over which it may take a long time but I know that once that happens this will be one of the greatest opportunities that have ever existed simply because of the amount of supply that was currently available will no longer be there with hotels and with a lot of these rental arbitrage operators and Airbnb hosts who are now putting their properties back on long-term rental markets uh, it's it's really interesting to see this play out but you know hustlers are going to hustle at the end of the day somebody asks how am i going to make money now i have multiple income streams 
Airbnb is not my only income stream and I really encourage every single one of you to look into diversifying your income portfolio. Make sure you're generating income from multiple sources that won't be completely wiped out if you're not. Uh, you know, if you're in a situation like this whole um, pandemic that we're dealing with right now. So focus on multiple income streams. I have day trading income, uh, you know, I day trade stocks, which to be honest with you, I will start documenting that a little bit more on my channel. I'll probably release one or two videos a week uh, trading live and going through my, my logic and my process with day trading. Uh, super easy way to make money. You can make many, money from anywhere in the world with just a phone or a laptop or a tablet. It's really awesome. And that skill set, like technical analysis, is a skill set that is invaluable. If you learn how to do technical analysis properly, you will forever know how to make money. My main point here is to be focused on making sure that you are diversified with income. And that's the whole point of this channel. It's, it's financial literacy because somebody who's truly financially literate will have multiple income streams. They will be diversified in the way they make money outside of just their earned income. You know, there's multiple ways to look at this. Please be safe, be careful, and before we go, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my Kansas City apartment. I currently only have one operating unit in Kansas City, and it is, you know, it, it is in the urban core. It is in a, a downtown market, and therefore everything that would draw somebody to a downtown area has been canceled or postponed or whatever it may be. I mean, we had instant results from that from that uh, property, right? We listed the property, 2,000 in bookings on like the second day. We had 2,000 in revenue booked out towards you know towards July and it was really starting to look good but then all of a sudden everything got deleted everything got wiped off and we're currently adapting we're currently adjusting uh, please be sure to stay tuned for the next part of this video it's gonna be a tour of that apartment and one more thing I want to mention here 80% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed and therefore I would encourage you to hit that subscribe button because that would mean a lot to me what is going on YouTube? In today's video, I will be doing a full tour of this apartment here in Kansas City. It's finally done. The first guest is checking in today. I'm so excited to get this thing going. For right now, let's have a look. I will go through some of the interior design, kind of go through why I did what I did, and show you what exactly you can pick up uh, for an Airbnb unit. So this is a one bedroom, one bath in downtown Kansas City. There's a Marriott literally right across the way over here, and it's really greatly located. I'd say the, the optimal location. And for right now, it's simple. All we have is the, the necessities, what a guest needs to feel at home. Uh, we'll go through that really quickly. We'll go through the amenities. TV with a Roku and a TV stand, a stainless steel trash can, and a fully equipped kitchen here. You see the coffee maker, the knives, the paper towels, olive oil. And it's a really nice kitchen, I'd say, for you know what this is for the price point i'd say this is a great uh, granite countertops big deep sink over here um, underneath it we have all the cleaning supplies right here is my favorite spot this is the money shot right here we have that beautifully designed piece of artwork back there with the splash of gold and the gold accents this is really really amazing in my opinion a little accent chair the bonsai tree um, honestly simple but effective. This is actually a futon. So this is a sofa sleeper. We can turn this into a bed. Really great product right here. And then this is just the main view right here of the units out there is a door to a little patio. Coming into the bathroom, there's this big open bathroom. We have our toiletries right here. Professionally designed, professionally set up. The hand soap, a little mirror, towels, and then just the tub, there's a soaking tub along with the shower right there. And again, there's a stainless steel trash can down there. Surprisingly, the cost for this unit was really, really low. I was actually able to furnish this entire unit for $2,500. $2,500 in an amazing market. Really excited about this, and I'm excited to see what this thing does. It's already shown us great results right out of the door. The second we had it listed, we got bookings. It's cool, we got our guest checking in right now. We just got off the phone with him. He's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. So let's go see the rest of the place. I really enjoyed the way this turned out. Again, we have a beautifully accented gold painting back there to match the gold accent pillows. End tables, the desk, the workspace. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty vanilla for right now, but it'll do the job. And clearly this unit costs a lot less to get furnished. And I don't know if you can really tell the difference here. I'm really satisfied with it. It looks really beautiful. It's a pretty simple standard unit and I think the fact that you know we didn't really have to furnish an entire kitchen, an entire living room, that type of thing. It's just kind of a shared area back there as, as you all saw. Um, I was really able to bring the cost per 
um, just acquisition down so this unit didn't cost that much which I'm really excited about because now I could, I could expect to see that return on investment much quicker and this is an amazing market. Kansas City is a big city. There's a lot going on here. There's, there's events, there's conventions. Uh, the Chiefs just won the Super Bowl. So there's a lot to look forward to here being in Kansas City, getting my footprint down here in Kansas City and I'm really grateful for each and every one of you for staying tuned on my channel and supporting me and kind of seeing my movement and seeing what I have done here in the past couple of weeks, couple of months. I appreciate each and every single one of you for being here and being a part of this with me here. I hit 8,000 subscribers, that's crazy for me. I started this channel, uh, you know, just, just seeing what I can do and you know, I'm gonna stay consistent, I'm gonna keep working towards my goals and progression. You know, at the end of the day, it's all about progressing, it's all about feeling like you're moving in the right direction. Every single day, you're either moving forward, you're either going backwards or you're staying the same. I personally can't say the same. I don't enjoy saying the same. If I'm saying the same, if I'm complacent, something's not right with me. That's just how I'm wired. And this is why you see what you see here. And I'm grateful that I can share this with you all here and, and show you what's possible if you take action and implement certain systems, certain protocols, do the hard work, do what nobody else is willing to do. It will pay off and you will have amazing results. If you have not yet, please be sure to check out the link down below for SCR Accelerator. In SCR Accelerator, I show you the strategies that got me to this point, to nine units automated in multiple markets. Sounds really cool to say that and look back on it, but it, it, it didn't happen overnight. It took me a long time to get here. And if you wanna check out SCR Accelerator to find out a little bit more in depth, more tactical, more juicy information, it's there for you. I put my heart and soul into this product and I think you will enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts on this unit. Do you think it'll do well? I personally, based off of the bookings we've already gotten, I think this unit is going to do outstanding. Let me know your thoughts down below and let me know if you like it. I think this, the gold accents are just essential. It's like a contemporary modern design, beautiful kitchen, beautiful space, renovated, it's new looking. I mean, it's just the location, everything about this is amazing. And it's simple, there's not much going on here, but I hope you enjoyed. And this definitely beats a hotel at the end of the day. So keep that in mind. I'm offering all this value for less than what a hotel charges. It's pretty incredible. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to my channel for what is to come, and I will see you next time.